No, you don't disconnect that camera. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, so I just started the archive for Mailbag. Hey, everybody. Uh, mailbag still starts at 10 o'clock. So I will see you then in about 10 minutes. we got to give or take a bit. Until then, I'm going to get some coffee. We can watch these kittens check all the packages if, if they're going to keep doing that. We might be done. I don't know. And uh, then we'll get to some mailbag. Who's the faculty here? We got Maggie and Custard. You're not faculty, Joe. I see Ari over there sniffing at the bottom of the tree. Ari. Hi, fruity beans. Well, I, I, I. Mm. Your own kittens you just hit. Why? Custard's just looking at her like, yeah, try that with me, lady. Aw, oh, you're a good boy, Custard. You're being a good boy. Hi, Chunk. Chunk, I think DJ would like to see you, buddy. You want to hang out with me? You'll have all male daddy to come sit in my lap, okay? Oh, yeah.
you found on tape? Kids. There we go. Who's open, kids? Kittens, why don't you go out and see mommy? All right, well, hang it out. Dusty, why don't you go out and see her? Why don't you go out there? I'm just going to call you if you go out by the door. Here. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's try something fun. Call Custard. Here we Here we call Custard. All right, bud. Go on. No? No, he's not going to go. Does not want. How about you, Pal? You want to go?
fish. You didn't like it, huh? That's fine. All right, here we are. Hello, everybody. Let's check our cameras real quick. Okay, well, I'm going to take this view behind me and uh, put some kittens on, I think. Let's do that first. Looks like they're getting a bath from mom right now. What else? Uh, I think that looks good to me for now see both rooms at least a little bit for while they're running around during mailbag and that looks good to me too okay hey buddy yeah I did tell you you could sit here all through mailbag I guess you were listening all right so, uh, news of the week. Um, these guys went for their second vaccines at the vet this week, and they all did fine. Crouton got another checkup. I assume no news is good news, and we've scheduled uh, her spay, and these guys' graduations, they're all scheduled for the 18th and the 19th. Uh, so, coming right up. Be good, you two. It's okay. All right. Crudy. <laughs> Crouton's... Uh, making custard take the long way around the camera. Okay. All right, buddy. Hi, come on over here. Good to see you, custard doodles. You want to hang out for mailbag? So that's the only news of the week, really, uh, that I've just been working. And then don't forget the big news, of course, is for the upcoming week. Uh, my family is set to arrive on Thursday, and uh, they'll be here for an extended weekend next weekend, and then uh, they'll be back home. It'll be the first time I've seen them in several years, so uh, I don't even know how many. So uh, that's really going to be my focus. Uh, probably between now and Thursday, I'm going to spend almost all my time cleaning stuff up and getting rooms ready for them, which is part of why we moved these kittens around. Um, I, we had to move the kittens, I think, to sort of make spaces that I preferred for uh, my family to, to stay in, because it's going to be we need three different rooms for them and you know this and that so i just get things organized also i think it's fun to have these kids downstairs for a while and they don't these guys don't spend very much time in their room uh, to start so they, they get to go wherever they want i was having them stay in their room overnight last night and a little bit of most of yesterday because i wanted them to get used to the new room and have that you know sort of reset as their their base of operations now um, but I think we'll probably accomplish that. So uh, from here on out, they're, they're not going to have to stay in their room very often. Uh, just, you know, if we leave the house or something. Um, so we'll see. Um, and then uh, obviously uh, the, the kids upstairs also, I say obviously, it's not so obvious when you're just looking at the inside of the box. Um, but they did move from the second annex where they have been to the first annex. Um, and also for the same reason. Uh, so, uh, so everybody got moved around this week. And then next week, no mailbag and uh, probably no sound from like Thursday until Tuesday. We're going to be silent mode for pretty much the entire time. And I apologize in advance for that. But, uh, you know, once every uh, how many years has it been? Four or five, probably uh, once every four or five years, uh, you know, for a weekend. Um, I think I think I think we can deal with that. Probably. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's do some mailbag stuff now. There's no letters this week, and that's fine because we had a bunch last week, and that's good too. Um, and let's start right in on something that is contained in a box, uh, and this is in front, so we'll start right here. And, oh, and it says it's from Joy F. And look at this; it's got all these fun little decorations on them. On this side, it has some cats climbing a potted tree, and it says, "Oh, there's some cats looking here in a marshmallow bed. One's looking over him, saying soon." This one's tech support, and the kitten's saying it's fixed now because he's batting at the wire. Uh, these ones are all playing in a library. Very cute. Uh, and then these ones are climbing the ladder, and there's one on the Infinity Scratcher over here. Just amazing packaging. Anyway, on the top, it says Joy F, uh, and I assume uh, Abby and Lila and Bayou as well. Let's find out. Ooh. Multiple notes. Happy Cat Father's Day. Aw, and it's got even more stickers on it. What a great place to start. What do you think, Morsel? 
Happy Cat Father's Day. You're a great dad. So just for you. And here we have Ocean, uh, the dad sailing on a boat. Oh, oh wow, what a pop up. Here's an ocean of Father's Day fishes. Oh, that's so cute. And uh, it is Father's Day fishes because they're all making bad dad puns. Um, yes, really, some that are really have a lobsterific day. Yeah, okay. I'm not, I guess it, it works. It works. Lobsterific day. Yeah, okay. I'll allow it. Anyway, uh, there we go. A bunch of fishes. That's a great pop up, too. What a, what a display. So thank you for that. That's cute and very ocean themed, very on point. Oh, look at that. A special gift for the MomCats remember use as you see fit by you by you, Abby and Lila. Oh wow, it's a real pretty postcard. Um that is uh that's very cool. Uh, the styling on it is like super uh I don't know, Buddhist, Hindu? Um it's hard for me to tell. Eastern. Let's say Eastern. There we go. Uh so that's awesome. And okay, this is the note okay to read on stream. Ooh, let's check it out. Oh, ooh, wow, there's a, a note. This also has a card that says, Life's an Adventure. Oh, with this pop-up boat, and look at the way the, the sail goes. It says, Enjoy every exciting moment. How cool is that? Okay, I'm not going to let Maggie eat this one right away. DJ's got to see it first. That's way too cool. Uh, okay, and then we have the note, which says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, First, I want to thank you for all you do for mom cats and their babies. Students that enroll in KA get the finest care and lessons. It warms my heart to be able to watch them grow to be the best kittens they can be. I can sense the relief the mom cats must feel knowing they are safe and will have a bright future when they graduate and move to their new home and family. The wool bed is for the mom cats room, but please use as you see fit. The bed took quite a trip, leaving Nepal to Dubai, Bahrain to Italy, Germany to Ohio, New York, and then to Connecticut. Uh, DHL attempted to deliver it twice, emailed me that the address was wrong. It was not. Then emailed me that I wasn't home. When did I move to a post office? Uh, contacted DHL, spoke to a bot after multiple attempts to speak with a live agent, being told to call back during business hours. They're on Arizona time, and it was before 7, uh, uh, KA time. Then, during the same call, the bot asked me if I would like to speak to a live agent. Okay. Had the live agent updated the address to mine in Florida so I could send it back to Connecticut. Hope the bed gets a happy home with everything it has been through. Happy belated Cat Father's Day. There are a few toys included to deploy or use for endowments. Thank you again for all you and DJ do for the cats and kittens and allowing us to take a peek inside your world. We live in a world that needs more fosters like you and DJ. I'm thankful that you share KA with us. Kitten hugs, Joy F and crew, Bayou Abby and Lila. Well, Joy F, thank you. That's sweet. And uh, um, I'm sorry that it had to go through so much to get to us. I know you contacted me online about it too, I think. <clears throat> so I knew some of that story, but my goodness. I don't know why that had to be so difficult. And it's so hard to get in touch with real live people these days. Like, I understand if they made it easy, people would take advantage of it and eat up all their time and money. And I, I understand why it's done, but still, oh, it can be rough. So this must be the mystery package. Uh, before we open it, you've also included, of course, a ton of tissue. These kids got their first tissue fit yesterday. They loved it. Maybe we'll get it out after mailbag if I'm feeling am, am, am tissious. That, that doesn't really work, does it? Uh, also, we've got a ton of these really fun toys. I don't know what you call them, but they're these balls with the, the weird little tubes uh, and everything else going on. Uh, those are great toys that the kittens love. Never have too many of those. We have some delectables, Squeeze Up, which are the hearts version of Churu, and uh, even more tissue than uh, unused at the bottom of the box. So there's uh, these and those, lots of tissue. Thank you so much. All right, now let's take a look at this. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, the colors are fantastic. What is it? Oh, I see. It is a, it is very cute, whimsical. It's, it's like a little, um, I don't know, uh, uh, what do you call the little orange fruits that uh, are, um, I don't know, or a pumpkin or a gourd or something. I was thinking, uh, um, gosh, why can't I think of that word? Um, 
parsnip, I think. That's the word I was looking for. Look how cute that is. So I think a parsnip. Now it looks more like a gourd, though, especially with this cute little uh, curly top on it. Uh, like maybe a pumpkin or something. Look, it's got a window cut in the side. And uh, that is so pretty. Uh, and it stands up really well, actually. We get a lot of these, and they're crushed, and you just can't, you can't get them to ever quite sit right. This one took a good shape right away. Uh, of course, the kittens will crush it very frequently, but that's that's awesome. And then we also have a little tiny mouse with a long tail, long tail mouse. Well, they're going to have a lot of fun with this, and it's beautiful, too. I hardly even know uh, when and where to deploy it, uh, but it's just lovely. And in your note, um, did you say which class you sent it for? Uh, you said mom cat's room. Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, thank you so much. Uh, wow, it does seem like it was worth having gone through so much. <laughs> We're going to get one of these kids to check it out right now. Is that all on the uh, the stream? Where's my phone? I wouldn't know what I... Okay, well. Oh, it's underneath all this tissue. Good. That's a good spot for it. Let's just see, because now we have Maggie in there with a kitten. That Maggie, now you don't go in places with kittens. Oh, hey, hey, Maggie, be nice. Somebody's trapped in there behind Maggie right now, and Maggie seems like she wants to attack them. How are you going to get out? Ah, ah, Maggie. You can't do that. Get out. Okay, that was Morsel that was in there, and she's just going to start attacking her in there. Wait, come back, Morsel. Don't let Maggie do that to you. Don't let Maggie do that to you. Okay. Do you really need to check it, Maggie? I know you're a podcat. I know you are. But it's not fair if you don't let the kittens play. All right, well we'll get that uh, we'll get that put out to somebody in, in, in due time. It's very cute. Uh, the colors again, the colors are fantastic, and that little window just really makes it. Uh, the, the window, this little uh, I don't know what you call it hood on top. It's it's all super super cute. Wow, thank you so much for getting that to us. Even though you had to go through so much trouble, I assure you it was worth it. Okay, this is addressed to breads and ocean, and it says, oh, Lisa Four Kittens. I think we're going to get a lot of stuff from Lisa Four Kittens uh, in today's mailbag, and I think that Lisa Four Kittens sent me some notes about what goes with what, because so much of it is dropship. These are cute little whales, and they have feathers sort of blowing out of their blow holes there at the top, and uh, maybe I should check real quick to see if the notes are something that I can make sense of on the fly here. Hang on. Oh, that's not the one I need. Um, Okie dokie. Let's see here. Um, what? Who? DJ's yelling something, but I don't know what it is. All right. Well, that's okay. Um, I don't have this one in my note, actually, but we'll figure it out. Besides, we know this is clearly for Ocean's class because it's two little whales that have feathers. So it's super cute. And we'll set that aside for Ocean. Uh, we're going to have to start opening more boxes to get this all figured out. Uh, let's see. Let's chewy box. Let's, is this the one? Um, hmm. Well, we'll figure it out as we go. All right, let's just keep rolling. Okay, this is addressed to Mr. C. Table. Mr. C. Table. All right, let's check it out. I think this is from Charlie I. Uh, maybe that's not right. Maybe this is definitely from one of our overseas correspondents who knows enough to put in a knife guard, which I've just sliced through. So thanks for that. That was smart. Uh, okay. And the note right on top that says, Hi, coffee table. Here are some books for you so you don't look so bare. From Charlie I. There's <laughs> a meows from Weirdo and Kevin. So we have some coffee table books uh, sent. I see Mr. C table. Now it makes sense. Uh, all right. Well, let's see what they are then. Charlie. And it does say Charlie I. So thank you. Um, let's see here. Coffee table books. Oh, what is your cat really thinking? And the cat is looking upset at the food bowl, thinking, "You, we need to talk about your culinary efforts. Uh, that's too cute. Oh, and it's all illustrated with really, really cute pictures of cats in various situations and what they are thinking. <laughs> They're very cute. Oh, what is your cat really thinking? Uh, that's super adorable. Okay, uh, then we have Cat Yoga. Uh, looks like the same artist, Danny Boy and Sam Hart, maybe from 
both of these. So then we have Cat Yoda, Yoga, and then we have the best cat memes ever, uh, compiled by Charlie Ellis. Uh, hopefully just compiled by Charlie Ellis, not like someone has invented a book of memes and like, no, these are definitely the best. Uh, and that's what they are. They're photographs with captions, just like in the memes uh, culture. What do you call all that is collectively? I don't know. All right. So uh, those are fun, too. Those are some really fun little coffee table books. And we will add them to one of the bare tables around the Kitten Academy. We'll find a way to manage that. Charlie, that's so sweet. Thank you for those books. They're very cute. And they will be perfect here at the Academy. Maybe our visitors will enjoy them. Also, I see Maggie has completely taken over this pod. She's tipped it over, but she's still sitting in it. Hi. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Then she can look out the window on the on the side now of the houses. That's fine. You know, it actually works this way pretty well for her anyway. Okay, Maggie. Uh, Charlie, I thank you so much. Those books are super cute. Okay. Uh, I need to open something else that's in a larger box. Let me grab this chewy box from right over here. Right away. And then we'll have a way to start getting organized. This is so light. I don't know what's in here, but it must be something that we can uh, sort of take advantage of the box. Let's find out. Also, Chewy doesn't let you leave a note. It does say it's from Ginger Cat Lover, though. Ginger Cat Lover. Whoa. And it is a giant uh, Baby Yoda pod. Wow. Oh, man, that's the coolest idea. Um, it is a cat pod, just like that pod the baby Yoda was uh, in during the Mandalorian. I don't know what you call it. And then it's also got a, a mat that goes inside of it uh, that says the child. Uh, clearly, they don't want to spoil anything like the fact that he has a name, which is fine. fine. All right. This is so cool. Uh, I, I don't want to open it up and look at it yet. I want to keep it pristine until we're ready to deploy it. But you can see what it is. You can tell from the little things here and the gray and the styling here. It's the little bed pod, uh, which is a, such a cute idea for a cat bed. So uh, thank you um, so much. That's that's from um, uh, Ginger Cat Lover, right? Uh, I think that's what it said on the box. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna assume that, that is correct. Ginger Cat Lover, thank you. That is very cool. And uh, if if you didn't send it for any particular reason, you can let me know. Um, if it wasn't for anything in particular, we'll deploy it next time we do anything that's vaguely sci-fi or, uh, you know, rocket ships or uh, Star Wars or whatever, or just for fun because it's so cool. <laughs> it'll, it'll get out there. We'll see. Uh, thank you so much for that. Okay, uh, this is from Hell's Dells. Ooh, uh, and Hell's Dells is labeled, uh, look at that, it's a box, it's a bag full of, uh, oh, bags. All right, little gifts and a note. There it is. Okay, note says, hi, Chris, DJ, cats, and kittens. Enclosed are toys for the Bretties Endowments and toys for the Academy. I have labeled the parcels. Love, Hell's Dells, and Jasper. I can smell catnip uh, coming out of this. And Maggie's flipping out in here. She's just playing by herself, I guess. There's not anybody in there for her to be torturing. Uh, but she is rolling around in it, grabbing her own tail. Here, let's get the little camera going for just a second so you can see this, some of it. Oh, sure, now she's going to settle down. Maggie, come here. Get back to it. What were you doing in there? Be careful. You're going to get magged if you try to get in this thing. Oh, now she's all rats. What are you doing, Maggie? Oh, yeah, that window makes it extra fun. That's smart, whoever decided to put that little detail in. She's chasing her tail. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, she's gonna keep doing that. Uh, let's see, so this says general deployment, including for faculty. All right, let's see. Ooh, wow, very nice. These are a whole handful of various types of fur mice. There's one in the bottom with a unique feature. It's got these two little hearts on it. Look at that. Those are so cute. And it's held together with a, with a button on the other end. I see. I see. It's like three separate fur balls, uh, but you can't really tell because they're so stuck together. We've got a whole bunch of mice with various little bits on them uh, and lots and lots of fur. Oh. Oh.
old mechanical style uh, noise maker, not even the electronic kind. Oh, I think there's another one of these too. It's got a string so you can uh, tie it up to something. You can bat it around and it'll make little noises. So perfect. Oh, those are great. Thank you. The, the real fur toys are, uh, again, I know I can understand why people might have some mixed feelings about them, but um, I, I've been assured that, uh, you know, they, um, it's, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's part of the process of using every part. Um, and, uh, and the cats love them. Of course they do. They love them so much that yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's nature's way, I guess. That's, uh, that's how I think of it. Uh, definitely worth it. Okay, uh, Breddies, Breddies Endowment. For the Breddies, we have a, oh, it's all, it's a whole bag of little Yao catnip fishies for these kids. All right, they're going to love that. <laughs> all right, Maggie, what are you doing? Now Maggie's peeking out. Hi, Maggie. All right, are you going to give up on this and let the kids have it now? Are you about done? This says Ocean for Now. Okay. Oh. It is a carrot and ooh, well, it just it's that that same fur toy that I like so much. It has the three balls and the two little hearts, perfect, and uh, and a big old carrot. So this is ocean for now, and so uh, we can give this to her for now. So far, uh, she seems to show a real preference for sort of string toys, uh, like a noodle stick or anything that is stringy. Um, but she does play with everything in her room quite a bit. She's surprisingly playful now that she's had her kittens. Okay, this one says Crouton's Endowment, and for Crouton, oh wow, uh, for Crouton you have sent a big old uh, Yao Catnip Fish, uh, that same toy again, I don't know what to call it, but it's got the button on one end and the two hearts on the other end, and then a little um, silver vine matchstick thing, it's a tiny little piece of silver vine that has feathers stuck out the end, very cute toy. So I know she's going to love all of those. Maggie's, uh, by the way, taking the silver mine nugget that I got out for Crouton this morning, but Crouton had more important things to do. And I gave Maggie her own in the other room, and she had more important things to do. Hmm. I've kept these separate as they smell different uh, for the Breddies Endowments and Deployment. Aw, okay. Breddies Endowments and Deployment. You also tape them up a lot. How different can they smell? Let's check this out. Oh, oh, I see. Wow, they're like double, triple wrapped. Look at that. It says Meow Me, Meow Me, M E O W M I. It's got a little unicorn cat logo. Oh, wow, the bags are like holographic. They aren't just plain. And uh, yeah, that's, they're, like, they're like fancy fur balls. I got to know what smell different means, though. Let's see. These are Ziploc baggies. Let's find out. Oh, they do smell different. Interesting. They smell um, kind of floral. You know, uh, it's not like normal catnip. It's got a, it's got a more Maggie, Maggie, stop it. It's got a very floral component to it, um, uh, or almost maybe kind of citrusy. Uh, but I think it is catnip or catnip and silver vine, and I think it's awesome, and they're going to love them so much. Uh, for the Breddies Endowments and Deployment. Oh, perfect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one of these out right now. By the way, uh, we had all those pastel fur-colored balls that the puppies really enjoyed, and I sent most of them home with the puppies. But apparently I didn't send them all. I thought I did, and since then in my office, there have been three of them that turned up in my office, like all right around the chair. And I know it's because the kittens have been bringing them uh, from wherever they were. <laughs> to to my office so there's three of those little pastel balls still kicking around and i guess my point was that i know the kittens love this kind of thing and uh and will enjoy it so perfect maggie what are you doing you look like you're using this as a litter box you're just standing there staring out what about hey don't fight me too why why are you being such a maggie is it because everybody's in your territory now uh -huh. did you just start to own this zone and now it's not yours anymore don't worry, these kids won't be here long and they're friendly anyway. Okay. Okay, Maggie, don't start trouble now. <laughs> All right, this one says Breddies Endowments. All right, Breddies, what do we got here? Whoa, that is a lot of things. Uh, oh, I see, it's a collection of like little, we got a little squirrel, we got uh, all kinds of springs, we got a prawn, uh, looks like a fortune cookie. Uh, 
wow, um, a tiny lion? No, not a lion. It's got kind of a mane, but I don't think it's a lion. I think it's more like a donkey? Donkey lion? A lonkey? I don't know. Uh, here we got this little blue mouse. We got another uh, fortune cookie. Uh, this braid. Oh, one of these things that bounces around that Logan's going to go crazy for. I'll save this for Logan. Uh, did you say this is for Reddy's endowments? Oh, I guess I won't save it for Logan. That's fine. He's got plenty of toys. He's not He's not hurting for it. We got a little tiny alligator. Another one of these thingies with the little rubber end on it. I don't know what you call this. The worm with the rubber end. Uh, we got a sparkly ball. Hi, Maggie. What do you want? Do you want this? Okay. All right. Maybe that'll get her away from this pod for a while anyway. This is great. Uh, Breddies are going to love all this stuff. There we go. What are they all doing right now anyway? I thought they would be like rampaging all through mailbag. I think Maggie might have brought down the mood just a little bit by being a meanie mags. Finally, random deployment. Okay. Uh, random deployment. We have this really nice felted ball. Uh, this cute little rainbow thing. It's just little pieces of felt uh, that are circles uh, strung together with beads. That is so, so cute. I really like that. I don't know if the cats are going to like it, but it's very cute. Uh, catnip David Meowie. Oh, look at that. It's like a Ziggy Stardust kind of style there. Uh, that's so cool. Catnip David Meowie. <laughs> that's adorable. I don't know how you found that. Uh, here we have a weird little sheep on tiny little legs. Look at that. It's poofy little sheep on little tiny poof, poofy little sheep, sheep legs. Uh, here we have a, oh, it says gall fruit, uh, which is exactly like this. Uh, the, the cats do go crazy for this generally. I don't know why they aren't doing it for this one this morning, uh, but so much love for them. And then this cute little guy with embroidered ears and face. Oh, they're all super adorable. Um, I, I want to put them out someplace, uh, but I want to put them out someplace where I'll get to see them all uh, once in a while because they're so cute. I guess for all this stuff, I'll just kind of toss it behind me for now. And these ones that are still in packages, oh, Chrome was right on that ball. Uh, these ones that are still in packages, I'll set aside for the moment. And here, there we go, that Ziggy uh, Stardust toy is so cool. That's so cool. Okay, all right, these are all labeled. Hells, Dells, thank you so much for all of that. And uh, I'm just going to put your labeled bags right in there to carry downstairs. Excellent. Oh, hi, Synergy. I didn't know you were sitting right behind me on your little bed made of tissue papers. Here, come up here. You can sit right there. Okay. What's that? Oh. Tibbet just ran in to play with that new fur toy. Oh, oh. Oh, she found a string. Uh, oh, what is that little? Oh, tiny piece of carpet fiber. Okay. Maggie, do you just have to sit in there and glower? Glowering? Ooh. Okay, uh, this is addressed to Bread. Hell's Dells, again, thank you so much. Uh, this is addressed to Breads and Ocean. The Breads and Ocean. So that's everybody. Let's see, it feels like this package is super full. So I have to be careful. There we go, not to cut through too many things. I see an ocean theme thing happening here. I see whales. I see a diver. That's cool, the diver. Oh, let's see, it's a little food mat or a little a little sitting mat. It's very nice. Uh, we have some like this that have the space on them and it's got a rubber backing uh, that's just, it's got these little rubber pips on it so it doesn't slide around if you put it on the floor. It stays right where it is, which is very nice. An ocean loves to sit on soft things so I think she'll love it. So it's a, a what do you call a group of, of whales? Why can't I think of that? I should know. Um, oh gosh, that's gonna bother me now. Uh, anyway, it is, it is a, apparently a group of whales and then I love the, the little diver that you can see here too, really makes the scene uh, and it helps you see how big they are, which is, it's cool to include him. Uh, so that is beautiful. And of course it can go to Ocean's room and I think she will enjoy it. I don't know where I'm putting stuff for Ocean quite yet. I had a couple things set aside that were for her, didn't I? Well, now I'm confused and we'll figure it out uh, when we get there. Okay, keep rolling. All right, let's see here. Oh, now you're gonna play with it again. Okay, Meg. 
That's fine. And then back to the pod. Do you want this in the pod? Here, have it in the pod. There you go. Might as well. Ooh, a mug. Uh, does this say who this is from? It doesn't. It just says Kitten Academy. Uh, and that's it. Cafe Press. Okay, well... Whoever, uh, <laughs> whoever sent this, thank you. It appears to be, <laughs> it appears to be some code, uh, and it does say uh, it's basically an object, uh, a mug object that, uh, yes, it, it refills itself until you've reached uh, sufficient caffeination, or so it should. Oh, and then I, I get the joke because at the bottom, at the end, it prints out Python does Java objects. Uh, I get it, though. I get it. Python does Java objects because Java is coffee. It's a joke. It's funny. Okay. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, I do. I like it. That's very cute. I don't have any coding mugs, but you know, um, one of the things that, that very early on had me convinced that the DJ that finally met the right one. Uh, was when she turned up in a t-shirt. Uh, it was an XKCD comic t-shirt. And it's the one, as I recall, it's the one where like the guy's having a sword fight or whatever, and the caption is something about how, uh, uh, whatever. It's about how, it, like, he's, he's not slacking off, his code's compiling. And uh, DJ wearing this, this code shirt, I'm just like, yeah, all right, cool, I'm in. Um, so uh, yeah, now she's graduated being a doctor instead, but, uh, but still, uh, this is super cute. I don't know why that made me think of it. It's, uh, thank you so much to whomever decided to send that. I've been doing so much coding lately, and actually most of it has been Python, also some JavaScript, which has nothing to do with Java, but that's a whole other story. Oh, oh, so this bag, uh, when I was getting stuff out of the car, I smelled it before I even saw it. It says Ramblin' Roast on the outside. Ramblin' Roast, uh, Full City Roast, and it is, uh, I mean, that coffee smells fantastic. And then there's a note that says, to Mr. A and DJ. Let's take a look here. Aw, it's a very cute picture of a leopard in the snow, not a snow leopard. I assume in the snow, maybe he just doesn't have a background. Could be either way. Anyway, it's beautiful. <clears throat> and it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, thanks for all you do to take care of the cats, uh, but also to foster such a great community. We both had cats all of our lives. Uh, we joked that we were raised by our family's cats, but we still learn things from you. Our cats are especially glad that you taught us about banana phones and chicken baby food. And thanks to ask us to send you this treat. We hope you enjoy it. Sincerely, Smith Cats. Oh, thank you, Smith Cats. Uh, it's also signed uh, with, by Brian and uh, Megan, I believe. Right, Brian and Megan Smith Cats. So, uh, Brian and Megan Smith Cats, thank you so much. That is so cute. Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying this. Like I said, it smells wonderful. And I was smelling it even in the car before uh, we got here. So, oh, so good. My mouth is watering. Okay. <clears throat> Smith Cats, again, thank you very much. I'm gonna have a little bit of this coffee. Hmm, that's good stuff. All right, moving right along. Uh, this says, oh, another uh, Tabby, Cat, Tabby GCL, Tabby Ginger Cat Lover for Crouton specifically. So here we have a, a package for Crouton. Aha, uh -huh. I did expect a long thin package to contain some sort of a wand. Uh, oh, it's so cute. Okay, hang on. Let's just make sure that that's it. I don't want to miss anything in there. Oh, there's a note. Good. Glad I started digging. And the note says, Dear Crouton, enjoy a tug of war with this. Much love from Tabby, Ginger Cat Lover. Uh, Tabby GCL, thank you so much. This is a wand that has a string and a mouse. Have you seen it a million times? What I don't think I've seen before, this is one of those electronic squeaky mice. It's still got the tab in. I'm not going to pull it out now. Um, but that should make it extra fun to run around and chase after, I think. So I think she's really going to enjoy this. And I'm going to write Crouton on it uh, so we don't have to keep all this packaging just for it. So let me write that down on both sides. Crouton. 
Perfect. Perfect. She really did love that. Uh, it's the, the, the mouse that Maggie likes too. Uh, that's, I'm sure why you thought of this and it's a great idea. She's going to just get it. She's going to, she's going to love it. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This says Kitty Ocean. Oh, from Lisa Four Kittens. Okay, Lisa Four Kittens. All right, let's see what we got here. This one looks like it has had quite a journey as well. Oh, oh, interesting. Uh, all right. I see a Sissel ball and two whales. Okay. And three sticks. Wow. Feel like I don't know how to use the seashells. Oh no, actually I think I did it. Uh, so one of these has to go through the ball and the other two must be there just to give support. Hang on, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yes, I see. So there's three holes on the inside of the whales. So this is going to make like a little, here, honey. we're going to put it together right now. I guess we are. This will be perfect for her kittens once they start wanting a scratching, scratching thing to scratch on. Yeah, oh, there we go. It's got to go like this, except <laughs> it's a little fiddly. I don't want to have to fiddle with it right now on mailbag. Oh, yep. A little bit of wood glue would probably go a long way too, making that last. So uh, anyway, I think you get the idea. It's going to be a little whale toy with a big old scratching ball. Uh, once I get the pieces together, and then there's also a little tiny hole on this side uh, for this uh, this spring thing to stick out of. It's a uh, super creative, and I will get it all put together, and it will be a perfect early toy for Ocean's kids. Er. There we go. All right, yeah, a little bit of wood glue and the big plant from the garage, and this thing will uh, will really be solid. All right, for now I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Perfect. Thank you so much, Lisa, for kittens. That is super cute. Hi, Fruton. I see you decided to check out the new room. And you have litter on your nose. Can I have that? Can I have the litter? Thank you. I need it. Can I get it all? I got some in. All right. That's cool, huh? It's a nice pot. Everybody likes it. Maybe I can't put it away. Maybe I should put it in your new room for you guys to hang out in a little bit. In there. Look, I'm just looking at me. Can I get your picture? It really makes your eyes beautiful. You have pretty eyes anyway. But, oh, wait, wait, look over here. Wait, wait, no, look at me. Curdy, look at me. Please look at me. Oh, now you just look so unamused. Oh. Okay. All right, you look more worried than beautiful, but that's fine. You do you. Okay. Let's see if I can post that straight to Discord. Maybe. Wow, I have a giant backlog of messages to catch up on on Discord. <sighs> These expressions. Okay. What do you got there, bud? Oh, come back. It's okay. Here, keep playing. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that ball's fun, huh? Having a ball. I guess that's why they say that. I'm sure. I'm sure that's why they say that. Uh, okay. Whoa. Wow. All right. Nothing on the outside here is a clue. It does say open farm. I'm going to open it, even though I don't believe it's a farm, and I'm not a farm. Oh, it says do some good. Interesting. All right. It's a repurposed box, though. Uh, this says to Mr. A and DJ, okay to share. I am a stealth Kitten Academy watcher. This is the first time to send you anything other than a small monthly Patreon gift. I'm not a big fan of any social media, really, so I tend to shy away from it all. I did communicate directly with you at one point regarding my niece that was thinking about becoming a doctor and wanted to try to put her in touch with DJ. I'm sending these items because I, I do remember that, by the way. Uh, I don't know if DJ ever got in touch with you, but I remember mentioning it to DJ about that and giving her the contact info. Uh, I think I think that's how it went, wasn't it? 
Uh, I'm sending these items because I just wanted to say thank you so much for all you guys do and how much you care for the moms and babies. Above are our two fur babies. Izzy is the tabby and Katie is the black kitty. They're very cute. And I see uh, Katie has a marshmallow bed that she looks very happy in. Um, let's see. They brought so much joy to my sister and I as she has been recuperating from a major medical emergency a year and a half ago. Watching Kid Academy has been part of the joyful things we watch. We love to hear all the KA alum are doing and seeing them in happy forever homes. I hope you enjoy the enclosed items. You guys can decide who gets which mug. Keep up the great work, and we will continue to enjoy watching the kittens and mom cats. Regards, Izzy Duman. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. It's I-Z-Z-Y-D-U-M-A-N. Uh, that's your Discord name, and there are your beautiful little kitties. Well, thank you so much. It's good. Uh, it's good to hear from people that, that uh, lurk, and it's good that we have lurkers. Actually, I really appreciate that. It, it, it would be unmanageable if everybody there were talking all the time. Uh, but it's so nice to, to have your support and to know uh, just that you're around. I think that means a lot. So first off, you threw in a beautiful blanket uh, that I love. I know DJ's also going to love it. She's going to want to deploy this thing right away because it's so, this kitten is so cute. And it's got all these different little expressions on it. Happy, happy little uh, expressions. It's uh, adorable. That's exactly the kind of thing that DJ's going to see and want to put right into one of the cages. You also included some socks with this cute little black kitty on it. There we go. And then, um, let's see, you said, I guess these must be mugs then. Yes, it does say mug. All right, let's see what's in it. I guess it's a mug day, look at that. We're up to, to three mugs plus the one I brought in today. Ooh. Oh, wow, it's a travel mug, that's nice. Okay, but it's a ceramic travel mug. Wow, uh, that's even nicer. Well, I'm excited to try it out. The uh, the little seal is it fell off, but it's still in there, so we can, we can put it back on here. You know what? I'm not going to do that during mailbag. Uh, but uh, it's so cute. It's like a, a cute little. It seems like a girly kitty wearing a bandana, and she's got little stars around her, and uh, it's got a real stylish um, handle as well, and a beautiful shape. And it is like I said, a travel mug. And then uh, this one, I guess if we decide who gets which one, they're either the same and that's the joke, or they're not the same. Let's take a look. Not exactly the same, but similar. We've got the same one, but in sort of reverse colors with a shiny copper colored cat on a black background. Uh, there we go. And the seals, that must just be how they ship them. So, some assembly required. That's uh, these are both super pretty and wonderful. And a ceramic travel mug is a luxury, so I'm going to enjoy these. And DJ probably will as well. Thank you very, very much. Put it right over here. Uh, put the rest of this over this way. All right, Izzy Dumas. Duman. Thank you. I almost said Dumas. Uh, um, thank you very much, Izzy Duman. All right. Hmm. I see that the uh, mom and a couple of the kittens are just hanging out in there and they tipped over their, their uh, litter box obscuring uh, shoji. That's okay. We can fix that later. All right. How are we doing? Because I think we might push this to another day if we're going to get into an hour plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well... Let's just see. Maybe we can treat it like a lightning round. If we can get through most of this in the next 15 minutes, then we can keep going. So this is addressed to Crouton and the Tiny Breads. Oh. All right. Look at that. I think we know what this is all about, but there is the note. Ooh, sealed with actual sealing wax. And... Uh, we've got these little block print kitties that are super adorable. I said block print. I don't know if they are, actually. Maybe. Uh, maybe watercolor. I don't know. Maybe maybe something else. It's hard to tell what that media is exactly. Maybe it says on the back. It's very cool. It says that the artist's favorite things to work with are watercolor and pencils. Well, it does look like watercolor and pen, maybe. We'll go with that. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy summer, True Blue. All right, True Blue, thank you very much. And there's also a note. The note says, 
Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, summer is finally here. The sun is shining and hopefully the dark rainy days are behind us, if but for a while. But you have at the Academy six beautiful little sparks of light and color and their mother who allows them all to shine their brightest. Uh, okay, that was a little sappy, but I had to make my theme work. I was going to go for a bread theme for their kickers, but there are only so many bread themed fabrics out there. So instead we get all the colors of the rainbow. I see. And as soon as I saw the fabric for Morsel's kicker, it just reminded me of her fur. So Morsel was my muse. Easy for me to say. Uh, let's see. Crouton has been a wonder to watch grow from that frightened new mom cat who hid in the blankets and always had her tail tucked to a confident, friendly, belly-rubbing, loving bundle of love. You know, it really has been a great transformation. I am reminded, though, um, that, that like her adopter should expect things to start the same way they did here before she comes out of her shell. And the reason I say that is when we brought her to the vet, uh, she like hides under her blankets and she hides in her carrier while she's at the vet. She doesn't get real upset. She's not real upset about the travel or anything, but she just that's just who she is, I think, in new situations. So... Uh, anyway, oh, that's custard now in there. When did that happen? Hey, buddy. I thought, uh, I was, you know, I was kind of like thinking it was still crouton, but then crouton's in there. Yeah, everybody likes the new pod. Okay, uh, sorry. So you were saying it's been so much fun watching the tiny breads rise and grow before our very eyes. I just know they're all going to make the most perfect cat loafs when they go to their forever homes. Everyone knows that sometimes that last morsel, nugget, or chunk can be a little crummy, but even a smidgen of that tidbit is irresistible. And, uh, woo, I worked hard for that one, LOL. I know we all say it, but we all really mean it. Thank you for everything you two do for the mom cats and kittens who pass through the academy. Kid Academy really is where you want to be when you are a cat. Love, True Blue. All right, True Blue, thank you very much. These kickers are spectacular, and I love the rainbow theme. You don't need an excuse to do that anytime. So, uh, as you can see, we've got uh, each one labeled and made specifically for them. Tidbit has this one with the circles. Uh, chunk, Chunk gets this one that's kind of blocky. Uh, we got, ooh, that's cool, with the little spiral bits, uh, smidgen. Uh, let's just take a look here. We have crumb, and we have, uh, wow, that triangle thing is for nugget. And then on this end, we have crouton. Whoops, I think I got him. Okay. Crouton is this one, uh, like the sort of oil spill. And this one is label, label. Who's left? Morsel. Okay, that one's morsel. Now, spilled little bits of catnip everywhere, but that's okay. Have a look at that when we vacuum. Uh, true, true blue. Uh, thank you so much. These are spectacular, and I know that when they go to their adopters, uh, these are going to be just, just so wonderful for them. Uh, let's put those in there. Okay. Something's got my nose a little going. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this is stuff for us, and this is stuff for us. But I'm running out of room. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this chewy box will give me something. Uh, let's see here. This one says Ginger Cat Lover again. Ginger Cat Lover, thank you for, uh, for all this paper. Ooh. All this paper and a big bolster bed. Uh, oh, wow. That is a very large uh, bed. Uh, it's, it's very nice. It says Frisco, better pet goods. I see it's got this really cool little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Not piping. Is it piping? No, that doesn't seem right. Maybe it is. Anyway, a uh, big gray bed, and also, just for fun, I assume you've included a Millennium Falcon uh, uh, wand toy, which is also super cool. And I love it. it's got the little blue ribbons coming off of it, like it's flying really fast. Uh, that's how you make the Kessel run. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that these are for random deployment, uh, however we like, but... Chewy obviously doesn't let you leave a note. You might have contacted me already on chat about it. I'm not sure. Um, I think you did, but I'm not going to look it up right this second. Uh, thank you so much, though. Uh, wait, uh, is it Ginger Cadler? Who am I giving credit to for this? Did I do that right? Uh, yes, it is. It's Ginger Cat Lover. Okay, thank you very, very much. Uh, okay, now I'm confused, though, because this is a big bed. All right, let's start here. Uh, random deployment uh, endowment uh, stuff. And we'll use this box 
because it is full of holes. Uh, I laugh just because a little crumb just fell out of the tree there. I shall just fine. Mr. A, here are bowls for ocean, crouton, and croutons. Kittens, the bowls for ocean's kittens to follow later from Clint. Clint in NH. Clint, thank you so much. You've been sending these bowls for every class since basically the day we started. And uh, it's awesome. Thank you for, for sticking with it for so long, too. That's really nice of you. Um, so, uh, thank you. They're steel bowls that last forever. Uh, they're just, they're just great. It's a wonderful choice. So, uh, thank you for that. And you've sent a giant stack of them. So I'm sure enough for everybody. And I know exactly what to do with them. So I'm going to put them right back here. And then, uh, we can, I don't know, use this box, that box, and the other. Uh, we'll get it all sorted out. But first, I need to get up and move these other things over here. How am I going to do that? I, we might need an organization break for just a second. Look, we're so far ahead of schedule. Uh, we're chasing by saying that. Yeah, I didn't allocate those boxes very well, but that's okay. Let's get these other boxes over here and wrap it up, and then we'll figure, oh, we'll figure out everything else after. After, after. Okay. Okay, let's start with whatever these are. I'm just going to sit this way, all right? For a moment. And... On the outside, this does not say anything interesting or helpful. And on the inside, well, I see part of a note, but not the part we need. And a box. Ooh, okay. A box that just says Luck Kitty. It does have a part sticking out the bottom, <laughs> but that's okay. It looks like it's all intact. And the note says, here it is. Ocean and her sailing kit needed this for their room. I couldn't resist. From Frozen Tundra Crew. Okay, Frozen Tundra Crew, what did they need for their room? Let's find out. Might as well open it from the broken end uh, of the box. I mean, I don't think anything inside is broken. Oh, gosh. What? Well, it's some kind of a cat tree. I mean, I think anybody could have guessed that. But what is it? What kind of a cat tree? What kind of a cat tree? Hmm. All right, I see some green stuff too. So I think it's a tree cat tree. I see. These look familiar from those little palm tree uh, scratchers that we've had in the past. And I see a base for a palm tree scratcher. So I think that's what we're talking about. Oh, look, there's a manual. Finally, Luck Kitty, make pet slucky. Oh, I see. It is kind of like that. It's a palm tree and another palm tree with a hammock or another platform with a hammock. It's the Luck Kitty Coconut Tree Hammock. Coconut Tree Hammock. 
Uh, that is about perfect for a beach ocean theme. And I think I might even still have one or two of the old palm trees to put around and make it a real theme. So that is perfect if, uh, if she or her kittens turn into two uh, real uh, hammock kittens, that would be perfect. So I'm gonna put it right back in here for the moment. There we go. Now it doesn't quite fit back in the way that it's supposed to, but what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna write ocean on it if I can. Uh, and put it in the list of stuff, the box of stuff here that is uh, uh, not going to go downstairs right away. I can't reach it from there though, so we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Uh, perfect. That is so fun, and, uh, and I think they're going to really like it. And at the very least, it's going to make a, an interesting, different kind of decoration. So we'll see. All right. Oh, here we have a box in the box style. All right. Cool. Much smaller box inside a much bigger box. And obviously, the much smaller box would have been okay for shipping since it's covered in shipping labels. That's the way it goes. Let's see here. I just want to see. Oh, it's a scratcher. It's like an infinity scratcher, but is it? Let's see. Not exactly. It's a roll of film scratcher. At least that's what I see. I don't know what you see here. <laughs> I don't even know. Are old spectacles, maybe? What does it think it is? It doesn't say what it thinks it is. It's just a shape. It's just a shape. It's not going to give me a hint. Well, I think it looks like an old, uh, maybe roll of film or, uh, you know, over those rolls of film, there was, a, there was some camera that was popular for a while that had that weird little film rolls that were shaped like this, that, that were in two pieces. Or, uh, or like I said, old timey spectacles, or a weird uh, bicycle, or a, a night cycle maybe. Um, I got nothing. Here, you can even put it the other way and make it into a whole set of other things. I don't know, old phone receiver maybe. Yeah, okay. Well, at any rate, uh, whatever the weird shape is, it's perfect for kittens. It's got two little hidey holes and this, this little spot to lay on and play on. It's a great, I think it's perfect. It's a, it's a perfect little cardboard toy, whatever it is trying to be. I think it'll be great for kittens. And I guess I'll put it back in the box for now, because they've got one. Um, but that will definitely go to good use. So thank you very much. Uh, okay, now I've got just a couple more to open, which I think are right behind me. And of course, Ari is sitting on one, because that's what you do if you're Ari. Come on, Ari, let's do this. He's sitting on the latest package from B and B, the B and B sisters. Let's see here. Ooh, I see blankets. I see the notes. You guys know what you're doing though. It's not your first time. Uh, this is a really cute little card that's got a fish in a fishbowl sitting on top of a cat's head and the cat looks very pleased with himself. And uh, I don't know what you call this style, but it's done with all sorts of little sparkly bits and some mixed media and the fishbowl has like a plastic on it to make it all shiny and uh, real cool. There you go, take a look at him. And on the inside it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens at Kitten Academy, it's the B&B &B sisters. Yes, it is. We hope we haven't been overwhelming you with all the blankets and toys, but there are just so many cute things out there for kitty babies. We were thinking you could use the blankets and toys for Ocean and her kitties, but we leave it up to you to use as you see fit, as you will know better what is needed. We have also set food and treats as usual. Thank you for all you do. You are both totally awesome from Beatrice and Bernadette. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, Kodak Instamatic film roll size 110. You know, that sounds so right, uh, especially the size 110 part. Why do I remember that? Uh, that could be it. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, that's cute. Okay, so B&B, &B, uh, you guys have said, as you say, Ari wants to get right back on top of the box. He loves to sit on top of boxes. I don't, I don't know what that compulsion is. Anyway, like you said, really cute blankets. I, I can see why it's irresistible. 
Uh, DJ is the same way. She just got us a whole bunch of blankets too because she can't resist how cute some of them are. So uh, these are some really cute little kitty line drawings. And on the inside, we have this pink sort of Sherpa a fleece, I guess is what they call that. Uh, here we have a, a sh shiny little blanket that's got these block print. Now this is a block print, uh, but they're like block print. Some of them are super colorful and some of them are more realistic colored, uh, which is really fun. It's a cool mix too. I like the, you know, like the stripey guy right next to the one that looks like a, like a galaxy or a tie dye. Uh, here's another, this is a cute little throw with some checkers on the one side and the Sherpa on the inside. Uh, super fuzzy. Wow. They're going to love that. What a nice feel. Uh, here we got little tiny lions, little tiny lion heads, a whole bunch of little tiny lion heads. Look at that. Oh, so cute and very soft. All right. Oh, that's the blankets. And then we have a whole bunch of stuff. Wow. I didn't expect so much stuff under the blankets. So first off, cat at Nibley's. Oh, wow. I don't think we've tried that on this class yet, but uh, we've had some cats that sort of favorite thing in the world. So those are fun. Uh, here we have Ice cream sandwiches? Yeah, that's what they are. Ice cream sandwich toys. Uh, here we have uh, little tiny mice with, it says three blind mice. Oh, I see, they don't, they don't in fact have any eyes. Interesting. Uh, I guess I guess that all works, but they've got cute little feathery tails um, with little pieces of rope. Here we have an ice cream cone that's all crinkly and uh, so you can try to pull it off. <laughs> that's, that's actually fun. Calm crackles, it says. All right. Well, that's a fun ice cream cone. Uh, oh, here we have the set that is the narwhal and then the unicorn kitty together. I think we saw this in uh, last week's mailbag. It's so cute. I just love it. Uh, this is the Fashions Talk set of cat toys, the assortment. It is a great assortment. It's wonderful for filling out endowments. Cat kittens love everything that's in there. Uh, this is uh, those fish with the long tails, uh, and it's good because the feathers get eaten right up. I just threw one of these away this morning, I think. Or was it last night when I cleaned the room? Uh, more ice cream. Here we have bunnies that are ice cream cones, and they've got their little ears folded over. Oh, are they all bunnies? Well, two of them are bunnies for sure. One is missing his ears, uh, so it could be a cat or another bunny. Hard to say. Uh, very, very cute, and it's a, it's a weird mix to be like an anthropomorphic animal and an ice cream cone at the same time. That's a little strange. I say anthropomorphic because he's wearing a pair of glasses, you know, like that's it's unusual. Oh, hey, this is that same set of birds. Uh, I deployed this for the previous class, and they didn't care for it, and then I, uh, now you'll see these kicking around. These guys uh, love them. So this might make a really nice endowment to go uh, for the, these, uh, these kittens when they graduate, the Freddies. Um, I gave these originally to the puppies, and then they never seem to really even get that interested in them. But it's a set, uh, by the way, it's a set of four different birds that look really realistic, like this little budgie, and they're crinkly. Uh, and then there's a, there's a, they're all four different. There's a little cardinal, and then there's a blue jay and a parakeet. Um, uh, really realistic, fun looking little birds. And uh, like I said, these guys have been having a lot of fun with that set. So it uh, might be a good thing to send home with them. Here we have a set of fish, long fish. Look at that, they're very cute. I like the little cartoony scales that are drawn on each one in different style too, each one. Uh, oh wow, they really are each one a little different style. Uh, that's cool. It looks like they're all uh, made in the same shape, but then they each have a different sort of drawing for their thing on there. There's five of them. They're very cute little fish. That would be perfect for little Ocean's Kids, I think. Uh, you also sent, ooh, oh, these are great. Uh, these are little rainbow mice that have rattles in them. Should have rattles in them. No, oh, these two aren't. Wait, okay, now they're rattling. Okay, wow, I guess we just had to start it up a little bit, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. All right, some of them aren't rattling as well as they should, and that's fine. I'm going to deploy a couple of these right now, though, because these are high-value little mice that they love with these tails on them. Custard is just completely asleep in this new pod. I don't know if DJ's seen this thing, but she would think it was so cute. Let me take a picture before he gets woken up by anything. Yeah, he's being super cute over here. Yeah, everybody is taking a turn in the new pod. Maggie, uh, Maggie. Oh. Custard's in it now, though. You should see. 
He's, he's sleeping. He's completely asleep. Do you see his head? Oh, he opened his eye when he heard you say that. So, uh, let's oh see. You good. also sent two Fancy Feast Classic Pate, which is perfect. Uh, that will get eaten up right away, uh, faster than you think. And some little tiny flannel receiving blankets, uh, one of them with a cat print that almost looks like the cat print from the first blanket. Oh, hey, I think it is. I think it's the same print. Look at that. I think that's the same print from the first blanket, except smaller and, and on a different material, isn't it? That's so cool. Nice match. All right. Uh, I feel like I just won a game of concentration. Uh, anyway, it's also got these patterns in here. I like the little diamonds. Uh, very classic styles. So uh, thank you also for those. And that then uh, is, is the Beatrice and Bernadette box. So thank you, B&B sisters. Again, you are amazing. There's a ton of stuff. And everybody says to, uh, to, you know, everybody thanks me for the care that we take for the kittens. But honestly, uh, you guys take great care of the kittens too. Not just you, you know, everybody that has sent stuff into Mailbag, uh, b and Sisters and uh, Lisa for Kittens and GA Girl. And I just, I shouldn't even say names because there's so many people. Uh, and I don't want to forget anybody that, that it just sends in a ton of stuff for the kitties. You know, I like Clint, we just got in today's Mailbag. Uh, so uh, thank you all for that. Now, we're not done yet. I know it sounds like I'm wrapping up, but I know there's a couple more boxes behind me still uh, behind custody with three more, in fact. So let me see what I can do here. Okay, well, uh, I was going to try to just spin around without needing to get up at all. But, ah, oh, uh, we're, okay, all right, we tried. Ah. Dana BX crew, all right. Uh, here, let's just open this, and then I'll grab the other two. This one's very heavy. I'm guessing it might be more food. Ooh, so it is, Dana BX crew. And you say, uh, for the tiny breads, ocean sailing kit, and faculty, enjoy. Pleasure meeting Mr. A and so many good folks at KACON 22. Thank you for everything from Dana BX crew. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you and everybody else. Uh, that's so cool. All right, so this is more of the classic chicken. Uh, pate, which is exactly what we feed everybody here, and we'll go straight to the kitchen. Perfect. And, oh, no, that's just an envelope. Now, good, okay. Oh, so is this one, I think. Perfect. This says, uh, Breads and Ocean from Lisa for Kit. All right. Lisa for Kit, a big fan of Knight Rider. We all are. You gotta love David Hasselhoff. All right, Lisa for Kit. Uh, let's see, this is, oh, Tiki Cat. You had said about how you sent some of the Tiki Cat because it's basically just chicken. It says this is chicken and egg in chicken consomme. And uh, I happen to know this is really good stuff. This is one of the things that we have bought when we've had really picky cats. Uh, and the chicken and egg is I think probably one of the best. So uh, I think you also said in your note that it might, might be too expensive to feed everybody all the time, but uh, we might find that we really like the ingredients in it. I think, I think we do. I think that's exactly how we feel about it. It's nice stuff. So thank you for that, Lisa, for kittens. And then one more that also feels very heavy and might also be food. We might just wrap this whole thing on food. A uh, good way to do it, if you ask me. And let's see what we got here. Custard's got his eyes open, but he's not moving. He's just sort of looking out of the side of his eye at me like, uh, I wish he'd be quiet so I could sleep. Oh, now he's moving. Okay. Uh, it is. It is more classic chicken pate. And, oh, for the Academy, as you see fit, from Raylene and Xenathon. Thank you so much, our classic food providers. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you so much for that. And uh, that then is the end of the mailbag. Well, almost. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all this stuff organized and out of here, and then it will be officially the end of the mailbag. So let me jump right into that, and I will be back in a few minutes after we figured this all out. Okay.
Custard really likes that pot too. Everybody likes it. I guess it was worth making that big trip if everybody likes it so much, huh? Let's take the bigger box. Yeah. Let's use that too. Let's not kick over any of these coffee cups. So this is all to go downstairs. Right in there. This is to go to the kitchen. detour to the garage though. Where were we? This should be nothing, right? Yes, nothing. Okay. Good. I did get the note from Hal's Dells that said that those, uh, those little toys that I said uh, Logan Mary would like, you can have them. I'm sorry, I'm just going to grab them out before this goes away. Ocean for now. That's going to go to the ocean too. Bag with so many things he said. Okay. I think it was this one, right? There they are. 
late in the grooming's hand tools. Slide this all down.
Oh, okay. Uh, well, hey, that's a, that's a really good way that's going to get put away right now. I guess I'm just going to leave this here until the customer decides to get up. Uh, how's our camera looking? Good enough, maybe? Yeah, good enough, whatever. Uh, before we go, I just wanted to mention there was one more big, heavy, heavy, heavy box I left by the front door that was more litter and baby food from Raylene and Zenathon. So thanks again, Raylene and Zenathon, for keeping us in litter and baby food and, and fancy feast. All much appreciated. Uh, and everybody else, we appreciate everything too. Thank you so much. I just, I really can't say enough, especially um, that so much of it, uh, and this week, so much of it was for the kittens. We love that. It's really all about the kittens. Um, so thank you all for everything that you do to help take care of these cats and kittens. It, it, it really helps a lot. It takes a village. It takes a virtual village. Uh, so uh, thank you all so much for that. And that's it. I'm going to have the archive right here then. I think if I can find it. <laughs>